How do you account for Venmo and Cash App in your small business? Accounting wise, Venmo and Cash App suck, but everybody uses it. Here's how you can account for it. What most people do is they see a Venmo transaction, they add it in as sales because it's money in from Venmo, but you and I know that's not always the case. Here's a real example. I got 5,000, then I paid somebody 2,000, then I transferred 29.99 to my bank. Then Venmo took its cut, so I only got $29.89. So how the hell do I account for all this? This process sucks, but here's how it works. Step one, in QuickBooks, make what's called a Venmo bank. In your actual checking account, all of the transactions to and from Venmo are going to go to this Venmo bank account. Do this one as an example. I transfer the $29.89 to this Venmo bank from my checking. Now comes the hard part. What I got to do is input every transaction from Venmo into QuickBooks. I can import it. Here's what it's going to look like. The easy thing is the 5,000 and the 2,000 I paid out, I'm just going to categorize those as sales and contractors just like they are. Now I'm left with the $29.99 transfer and a $10 fee. There's two ways to do this. Easier ways to do this. Look for the transfer, click on find match and match it to the initial transfer that you did just like this. There's going to be a $10 difference, which you can resolve as a Venmo fee. Now these are both zero. That looks good. The second way to do it is this. You're not going to worry about the transfer at all. You're going to exclude the transfer and you're only going to be left with the $10 charge. The $10 charge, you're just going to call a bank charge and you're going to zero this balance out. Follow for more tips.